So if you happen to have an iPad that supports the new iOS 13, which is due out this September, um, you'll now know that you can use one of these, a DualShock 4 controller, or you can even use an Xbox One S or above controller to connect directly to the iPad. So all you have to do is go into your settings menu as normal, you'll have this option under Bluetooth and it will be DualShock 4 wireless controller. You just do it by pressing and holding the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time for about three to five seconds and it should connect straight away. Um, if you haven't got Bluetooth open on the device, then it will start blinking a white light on this panel here. And then once you're in the Bluetooth menu, it should find it and you can connect. Once that's done, uh, you can play directly from the iPad wherever you are, or if you happen to have an Apple TV like I do, uh, what you can actually do is come to the screen mirroring option, connect to your Apple TV, and obviously you now have a screen on the TV. Uh, so if we come back and go to, for example, Fortnite, you now have the option to play the game with the DualShock 4 controller and you'll have no lag whatsoever. You'll have just as good an experience playing on the PlayStation but on an iPad through the TV. So if we load up the game, you'll see that we can actually play this. Now, you can see from my level, I'm not a huge Fortnite player. I downloaded this as it seemed like the most popular game to, to try and uh, just from my quick brief experience it has worked quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this loading time and we'll get straight to the game. So if we jump out, there's literally no lag. I don't know if you can see on the iPad but everything that's happening on the iPad is mimicked directly to the screen and there's no lag with this. You can play without any issues. So if we come down quickly, I'm not going to do a full game because everyone knows what Fortnite is, everyone knows how to play. Uh, we'll just dive down quickly just to get to the ground. So once you're on there, you can see it just works seamlessly. You don't need to worry about anything. Um, once it's connected to the iPad, um, you literally have nothing to do. It sets up all the button mapping automatically. You don't need to do anything. literally no lag whatsoever. So this is just a quick look at really what you can do. Um, if you haven't got a PlayStation, you can actually get these fairly cheap from um, game and places like that when they're on offer. Normally about £35 and it's a really nice comfortable controller to use. So if you're looking for a, um, a good gaming experience without buying a console and you've got an iPad, um, you can do it that way. If you've got an Apple TV as well, even better because then you can just stream it straight to the TV and you've got the big screen experience. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do give the video a like and uh, comment in the box below. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel and I'll keep posting more videos um, and I'll see you in the next one.